Pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Boric. Good afternoon, Phantoms fans. This is going to be a preview to our Lehigh Valley Phantoms playing the Charlotte Checkers, who are 18, 14, and 2, and right above the Phantoms by 8 points in the standings as the Phantoms are in the final playoff spot in the division in 6th place because of the games at hand, 31 to 38. Uh, compared to the Bridgeport Islanders, who have five more points, but the percentage for the Phantoms winning is 484 to a 461 of the Bridgeport Islanders. So that is why they're in sixth place right now, early High Valley Phantom. And actually, in a playoff spot, all things considered, yeah, isn't it kind of funny, actually, with the way this season's going? But they have really got back to playing the Phantoms level hockey we saw for most of last season in bits and pieces of late to be able to put together the great point streak and then obviously to be able to answer back um, from blowing the point streak and losing back-to-back -back games in the weekend to beat Wilkes-Barre 3-1 to one in a very good affair on Wednesday. So that's great to see in the right direction. This team, do I think they're fully back to where they were cruising on all cylinders last season? By no means, no. But like I said in videos a couple weeks ago, this was a team, if they just got things going in the right direction, they were kind of snake bitten, couldn't get anything going, had a bunch of guys going up to the NHL. Uh, now with the taxi squads, that affects it even more. Of course, after the ulcer break, there's no more testing for asymptomatic guys, so that should help the AHL. But they've had so many guys go up. They still have had that. They've had so many injuries. But now since guys have come back from injury for the Phantoms, even with the amount of guys still up, it showed how much it's really helped them. And everyone's not even back yet. They still have Tanner. They have Fitzgerald, Kevin Hayes' cousin, and others that have to come back as well. So it's going to be a big impact when those guys come back. And they're already playing much better hockey. So do I think they're back to fully where they were last year? No. But do I think they're a team that could continue to compete and maybe even get to the fifth spot if they go on a run? Because like I said a couple weeks ago, it's all about just finding that jazz and finding that magic. And then they did. And they started trending in the right direction. Now they're playing significantly better. Ian LaPerriere, like I said, seems to be coaching systematically now and not more just developing guys and trying to develop them because that's kind of the type of assistant he was. He now is figuring out systematic coaching, which it took him a minute to do getting into the season. But now that he has, he's put stuff in the right place. They won on his birthday when he was absent. Riley Armstrong stepped in and Jason Smith and did great. So um, now we'll see what the Phantoms are able to do against the Charlotte Checkers today. When it comes to the team stats and the head-to-head, -head, uh, the Phantoms are only 1-3 and three against the Checkers this year. But again, the Phantoms are playing significantly better hockey of late. Um, so... Can they start trending even to beat the Charlotte Checkers team who they were only able to grab one win from thus far? Uh, the Checkers, again, have eight more points, so this would be a huge win to really help the fans in the standings and try to get closer to that fifth spot that I aforementioned a moment ago. Uh, the goal differential, the Phantoms do still, obviously, they're still trending up in that direction. It was way worse a couple weeks ago, but it's a minus 16 still. It's a positive 14 for the Charlotte Checkers. Um, both teams have been good in their last 10, but the Phantoms have actually been better. 6-1-2 and two to 6-4 and four in the last 10 for the Charlotte Checkers. So like I said, the Phantoms are cruising in the right direction. Are they back to being on all cylinders like they were last year? No, but they're not as healthy as last year and don't have. And they're, not, and they're more affected by how many guys had to go up to the NHL because of the plethora of injuries at the Flyers level as well. But I think this team's trending in the right direction. I think now, especially with the 6 deep playoff system, they actually, with the way they're playing now, have a chance to finish rather than the way they were looking early. It looked like they were going to be the last place team, have a chance to finish in the top six and actually make a player spot. I might be able to get fifth if they continue to go on a good run. It's all about continuing to exit and enter zone uh, better and also just continuing to have that resilience or perseverance or get back mentality that the Phantoms have had of late, which they had all of last season. Whenever they went down, they were not out. Uh, where the big club for the Flyers this year, that's one of the biggest issues. Whenever they go down, they seem to be out. The Phantoms now, of late, in their much better play, um, have not had that issue that they had early in the season, where once they went down, they really couldn't have find any will or way to come back. They've been able to battle back in games. They've been able to start off and just keep um, hopping down on the team defensively and be able to hold a lead better of late. So things are trending in the right direction. They just need that to keep trending in the right direction. If they play... Um, the Checkers, like they played Wilkes-Barre Scranton, and like they played other teams of late, um, with much better success, similar as well as how they played against Bridgeport, to name one, um, who I said um, is behind them because of 
<clears throat> games at hand, and similar to how they played Utica, who's one of the best teams in the league, and they were able to beat the Utica Comets, so that just preaches where they came back against them at home, how good the Lehigh Valley Phantoms have been playing of late. They also beat Hershey last month, as well as Hartford, who's one of the best teams last month. So the Phantoms are playing better hockey and it's continuing the trend in the right direction. If they can keep that up, they'll continue to be a playoff team. It's about now trying to find a way to beat the Checkers, which they've only been able to do once this season, as our Lehigh Valley Phantom have not been overall successful as only 1-3 and three against the Charlotte Checkers. So hopefully today they can change that, get the win. And I would say the players of the game with the today that I will predict that will do well will be Cal O'Reilly because he's just been playing like a bat out of hell. Obviously, Allison's up now, so I think Bunneman getting himself back in the lineup, if he's put in there, he will have a couple big hits, and it'll be a guy that more so at the NH or at the AHL level instead of the NHL kind of sets the tempo um, as a bottom sixer and <clears throat> plays a good overall defensive game that he can then lay body checks and also get some offensive chances um, for the Lehigh Valley. Phantom, so I think he'll have a good game. Cal's been continuing to play well. And then Maxime Shusko, as well as Isaac Ratcliffe, have impressed me of late. So I think those are two guys to really look at. Shusko's been great on the penalty kill and has also been a speed demon. Isaac Ratcliffe's been very good at it. And then Linus Sandin is just a given uh, with the way, if you follow me on Twitter and on here with the way he's been playing of late, how much I think he's pretty soon to getting called up because he just plays such a clean game. But everybody, peace out. Have a great day and pleasant day. Please continue to subscribe down below or up above on the Easy to Use widget. This has been the preview to the Phantoms versus the Charlotte Checkers, which is at 4 p.m. today. Is the Phantoms have to battle the Charlotte Checkers, of course, at Charlotte, and then they play... Um, at Charlotte tomorrow, have a extended break until next Friday where they play at Springfield, at Hartford, and then come back on Sunday for Hershey. So it's a lot of hockey, even though, though there's an extended break. It's still a lot of hockey um, in back-to-back succession because they have a back-to-back a break, but then three in a row, which is more common at the ECHL level than the AHL level next weekend. So have a great day, a pleasant day, everybody. Peace out and go Phantoms.